Greetings, this is Inelia Benz for Ascension101.com. Today I want to talk to you about strength and not just physical strength, right? <laughs> but also mental strength and spiritual strength and environmental strength. The reason why I want to talk about this is because it has come to my attention in the past couple of months that it is a topic that we really need to address and talk about, process and also consolidate. We need to start becoming strong, we need to be strong and even saying it has negative connotations because whenever we hear you've got to be strong we think bad times are happening or something really nasty has happened and we need to be strong to get through it. So that's one of the programs that I wanted to point out. The other thing about being strong is that one of the things that happens when a person is strong is that many other individuals will start riding on that person's energy or strength. This can happen financially, that would be like environment. It could happen mentally, it can happen emotionally, and it can happen energetically or spiritually. The riding of the wave or riding somebody else's strength is it's not really very healthy for two reasons. One of the reasons is that it is extremely disempowering for the person who's doing the writing. The person becomes extremely passive. They're not flexing their own muscles. And they kind of become weak through lack of using their innate or inner strength. The other thing that can happen is that there is a debt created, an energetic debt. Whenever there's a debt, things go a little bit wonky. You know, they, the person who's indebted will become, usually will turn against the person they're indebted to. Um, and also, they, the reason why that happens is because when you're indebted to somebody, they kind of own you. Energetically speaking, they own you. And that's why at the moment you'll find that the major financial construct of this planet is debt-based. Yeah, It's not a coincidence and it's not just because um, it just happened to happen that way. It's like a design. Yeah. Whenever you take out a loan for something that you cannot repay, um, so it's a loan that's hanging over your person, as it were, then you're basically owned by whomever gave you that loan or the organization that gave you that loan or the government or whatever. That's why energy exchange is so important. And that's why it's important to be strong. Strength on the other side, the other program that they don't want you to know, and they by the, I mean they as in the powers that were, you know, the media, the government, the people, the society, religions and everything that want your power. This, this being strong means that you're empowered. It means that you own your power, that you are powerful, that you have the power to do, the power to think the power to create, yeah? So when you have that, you're really in charge of your entire story and your entire life and creation, yeah? That's why they teach us and they give us all this stuff about, um, oh, you know, don't pay for things that are spiritual or don't, um, uh, money is bad and rich people are dirty and dirty rich and it's all through corruption and money corrupts and 
power corrupts and all these things. All those teachings are negatives and they're basically all to do with people rejecting their own power and riding mm. somebody else's power. Mm. Apologies, <laughs> have an alarm set. Um, so one of the things that I'd like us to look at right now, and this is a little exercise, is I want you to ask yourself and be really, really honest. Remember, there's nobody watching. And if you want to comment on this or talk about it, then that's fine. But this is something that you need to answer honestly for yourself. And the question is, are you carrying your own weight? Now think about that. Financially, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, energetically. Are you carrying your own weight? Now look at that. Did it have any reactions in you? Did it trigger anything? Was there an immediate yes? Or was there a thoughtful process of finding out whether you are or not? Did you find yourself that you actually are not carrying your weight? Are you carrying somebody else's weight as well as yours? And that's an important one because you will find that due to our societal teaching us to be carried by somebody else, whether it's a company, government, organization, family, if you're a woman, your husband, and, and if you're a man, emotionally, your wife, right? Um, society teaches us to be carried so whenever somebody steps into their power and becomes strong you will find that many many people will kind of start coming into their lives to be carried yeah or they expect them to put up with stuff because oh they're strong you know so have a look and see what the dynamics are in your own life with regard to strength being strong being powerful I was looking at my own field and seeing, okay, is there a resistance? Is there a resistance in my own field, in my own physical body to be strong? I was looking and looking and I couldn't find one. Um, so I thought, okay, I'll just scan out <laughs> into society, into the street near my neighborhood, into a park. There's lots of people in the park to see if I could find somebody who would be willing for me to look at them and I did yeah I sensed I looked and I sensed this woman and now when when you look at you're looking at people or you're doing something anonymously remember that nothing can happen to you and nothing will be done to you without your consent yeah even if the person doesn't ask which I did but even if they don't, if I hadn't asked, um, nothing can happen with somebody else's consent. So when I scanned out and looked for somebody that would be willing to be scanned, um, that happened with their consent. Yeah, and it was probably that engagement thing, you know, like you engage with somebody because it was the right time for them to have that engagement. And I don't know what will happen in their lives. Maybe it will change the fact that I engaged with them with a different viewpoint, yeah, with a broader perhaps or just different way of looking at things. So I found this woman and I scanned her for a resistance to being strong and I got huge hits and emotional reaction. There was one that said if she was strong she wasn't sexually desirable, yeah, and that went like way out into different areas of her life. If she was strong, then she would not be liked physically, 
So like no muscles for her, no, no big guns like I have. <laughs> um, and if she appeared too strong, then she, th this was a surprising one, she would attract a weak man, yeah? And that surprised me because it's that energy of not, you know, it's like as a woman, she wants a strong man, right? So that was a resistance to be strong there. Mentally speaking, there was a resistance because high intelligence and mental strength in a woman wasn't attractive either so it was all about her survival as a woman and her genetic you know makeup to find I don't know maybe a husband or have babies or whatever or even be in a good relationship or to be looked after and taken care of she needed to appear or she needed to become weak and that program is really 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 strong in women so what I'm going to do now, uh, and I wanted to tell you about that, because um, it's just interesting from the female perspective, yeah? Spiritually strong is more okay for a woman because she can channel it, and obviously it's being vampirized by a lot of organizations and religions and individuals that woman being spiritually strong is usually the women who carry religions is usually the women who go to church or to who pray and who uh, meditate and who join different groups and self-awareness and everything like that the majority are women in the west and i say probably in other countries still though i don't have that much of more experience in other countries you'll have yeah somebody wrote to me and said actually you know um, all the monks that I met while I was a monk in Tibet were men. She said, yeah, but the temple is quite small. And what about the women, you know, who supported those temples? It was the women and they had to admit it, right? So, spiritually speaking, women are allowed to be strong. Um, but mentally, physically, um, emotionally, no, I don't go there. And financially, forget it. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff. So I'm going to go back now and say what I want to do now is I'm going to scan out and I'm going to look for a man who's willing to be scanned. And it's not going to be like somebody who is already on their empowerment path, but somebody here locally who's just living their lives and it, as it has been prescribed by society. So I'm going to do that now, I'm just going into that place of no ego type thing, the, where, the place of the pure observer where we are all one. And I'm scanning the streets, I found somebody, okay this bloke is in the park, he's got two kids with him and he's playing, I don't know if like something with a ball or something, that they're throwing a ball. Uh, probably I think it's one of those things that you throw a ball for a dog and then you put it back on it goes quite far the children are quite small and I'm asking I'm looking at him he's already willing to be scanned and to engage it at this vibrational level I'm asking him if he has a resistance to being strong is there a resistance in his body to be strong I got a huge emotional reaction then. You'll have to excuse if I start crying. I'm just um, feeling what he's feeling at the moment. I got a whole download about his entire life. It's very odd because 
his teaching has taught him to be strong. He needs to be strong for everybody. And there's a huge responsibility, but he was, he's perfectly fine with that. So I'm trying to trace back and following the energy line, that huge sadness that burst through originally, that first he's hiding it now. He's hiding, he can't look at it. It's too much, it just overwhelms him. And being emotional, it's not okay if you're a man. A resistance to being strong is a resistance in him to be strong. Strength for him means struggle. To survive the struggle he has to work really hard and be strong about his work or he'll get fired. He's got to be strong and not speak out. He's got to be strong and do as he's told so that he can support his family. He has to be strong and conform. And the energy of resistance that I'm sensing is more like a don't look. Don't look. Because if you look, we might all just collapse like a house of cards. Don't look. So he's requesting for me to move away. He doesn't want, doesn't want to look anymore. And that's fine, I'm moving away now. I'm coming back. So, obviously these two cases are very unique. It's their cases, right? It's their energies. These individuals are unique. It doesn't mean that all men in the West are like that. It doesn't mean that all women in the West are like that. It means that these two individuals have those resistances. But those resistances or those programs are very much societally created. Yeah? And they're limits to their own empowerment. They're limits to being strong for themselves or how they want to be. Now, imagine the positive side of strength. If you're powerful in your mind, if you're strong in your mind, you're powerful and strong spiritually. You're powerful and strong physically and emotionally. And you don't have other people weighing you down. What do you do with that strength? And now here's the next step. Imagine that all the women on the planet were that strong. Just sit with that for a little moment. Was there any resistance? And now imagine if all the men in the world were that strong. And with that thought of all the women and all the men on the planet being strong, being completely empowered, I leave you for now. And if you like this video, of course, go to Ascension 101 and support us by purchasing one of our products or liking us on Facebook and uh, just spreading the word, yeah? <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.